my work speaks for itself. I believe the reason I've been able to continue working is because my range, mm -hmm. the drama, the comedy, the action, all three genres I've been in and I continue mm -hmm. to get work mm -hmm. in all three areas. Mm -hmm. If the Braxton spiral thing hadn't happened in the same year, mm. I think it would have made a huge difference. In other words, if people had just seen Braxton only for even say the first three years of the show, I think it would have sealed that image without any help. Spyro was a, I can't tell you how important it was. Mm -hmm. Because again, it established, wait a minute, this guy's an actor mm -hmm. who can do comedy mm -hmm. and do drama and action. Mm -hmm. I'm not Braxton. I played Braxton. Mm -hmm. I'm Does that get annoying when I'm like, someone just keeps? I have a bittersweet relationship with that issue mm -hmm. that I deal with to this, this very day. There are people who will always see me as Braxton. Mm -hmm. Am I mad at them? I'm not mad at them because People will feel what they're going to feel. Right. 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 I have no control over that. I'm disappointed that sometimes there isn't more flexibility in perception. Because mm -hmm. if you see me in a different role, mm -hmm. you see me doing the work. Mm -hmm. If it's a drama, if it's a romantic comedy, whatever it is. All I ask is for some openness to receive it. Right. Some people are able to do that, and some people still have this response of, oh, come on, that's Braxton. That's Braxton. No, yeah. no, no, no. That's, that's a, yeah, like I said, that's bittersweet, because I can't help but be appreciative and be grateful that when people come up to me on the street, all the love I receive, right. Right. the support, people expressing their gratitude for having all these wonderful memories and for not only Braxton, but the show bringing them so much joy. How can I not embrace that? How can I not be, mm -hmm. you know, uh, grateful for that? I am, but it is, it is tough to, I'll tell you this. Yeah. Let me tell you where it's most tough, John, is when People in uh, positions of power mm -hmm. who can cast folks in certain roles, it's most upsetting to me if they say, well, we like his work, he's perfect for this role, but that's Braxton. Have you heard that before? I've heard that before in terms of the actions that unfold with any given project. Mm -hmm. I've even heard that as I've walked into certain rooms in the past. Mm. But let me be clear about something. This is where it hurts me the most. What I'm getting ready to tell you mm. does not happen in general if I walk into a room full of white producers. Mm. Because they, even though Jamie's show transcended race, black people watched it predominantly, but white people, Asian people, uh, Latinos, his show transcended race. Mm -hmm. But like I said, truthfully, mm -hmm. a predominantly black audience tuned in. If I walk into a room full of, let's say, brothers and sisters who are producing mm -hmm. this project, mm -hmm. and I literally hear, as I walk into the room, what's up, Braxton? What's up, man? It's like a, yeah. a wrench in my gut because you, it's immediately saying to me, even though you're here and we're seeing you for this dramatic role, for this romantic lead, for this 
um, hard hitting, heavy character. Mm -hmm. Even though we're seeing you for that, we just made it clear to you how we see you. Right. And knowing what you know now, years later, do you regret taking the role? No. No way I regret it. Mm 